Hi guys! Kung nag-unbox ako sa part 1, this video will tackle about how to install and how to use or operate the TV box plus an honest review about the MX10 Pro 4K 5G. But before anything else, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood ang part 1, I'll put the link sa description box below and I'll insert a fast clip sa pag unbox ko. So, let's get it started! This is the TV box and ito ang HDMI cable. Itong HDMI cable, ikakabit natin sa HDMI port. Okay, this is... Alright. This is the HDMI port ng TV box. So, dyan natin, or dito natin ikakabit ang HDMI cable. Pag nakakabit na siya, ikabit naman natin yung power adapter sa power port ng TV box. Dito, dyan sa bilog na yan. Dyan sa bilog. So, this is the power adapter. Ikakabit na natin sa power port ng TV box. Okay. So, nakakabit na siya parehas. And by the way guys, itong remote control, walang kasamang battery nung binili ko. So, yung other side ng HDMI cable, ikakabit naman natin sa HDMI port ng ating TV. And once na nakasaksak na, makikita natin yung red light. Pag red light, it symbolizes na nakaturn off pa yung power box or TV box. So, once turn, once, uh, turn on na siya, magiging blue yung light. And of course, isi-set natin yung TV natin sa HDMI since ginamit natin is HDMI cable sa HDMI port to connect the TV box. So, once naka-install na yung HDMI and yung AV port and nakasaksak na siya, this is how it looks like. Ito yung pinaka-screen saver. And, sa baba niya, yung mga applications. And, by the way, nung binili ko tong TV box, naka-install na yung mga applications na yan. So, it's a plug and play TV box. Okay, check natin yung mga application na naka-install. This is the settings. And check natin yung Netflix. Okay. YouTube. There. And Swift Streams. Itong application na to, ito yung may mga international channels. Yan. Marami siyang international channels na pagpipilian. So, let's check yung USA TV. Okay, so yan yung mga channels sa USA TV. And itong live 
.net TV, isa rin siya sa mga, may mga international channels. So, scroll lang natin siya pa kanan, sa harap sa TV natin, to browse more channels. This is the Filipino channel. And itong File Explorer, uh, dito, natin, dito tayo pupunta kung manunood tayo through USB or flash driver. Yan, para mabuksan natin yung file sa USB or flash drive. Play Store. Dito tayo magda-download as usual kagaya ng sa phone or Android phone natin. Okay, ang gamit ko is remote control and yung binili kong mini keyboard. Binili ko siya parehas para, actually binili ko yung mini keyboard kasi kailangan nating mag-type and may cursor siya para mas mapadali. And ngayon naman, check natin yung settings. Sa settings tayo pupunta para i-turn on ang Wi-Fi connection or i-set yung dates or yung sounds or kung ano man. Again, gamit ko pa rin yung mini keyboard na binili ko since mas madali siyang i-set up or gamitin for setup. Okay, this is the settings. Okay, so, nasa pinakataas yung network connection. Pwede natin gamitin yung Wi-Fi kung hindi siya nakakabit sa LAN, uh, sa modem or router natin. So, turn on yun lang siya. Click, and then turn on. So, as usual, kagaya ng sa phone natin, yung Wi-Fi uh, symbol niya is nasa upper left pagkaharap natin yung TV or yung phone. And we have to set the date then. Sa settings din natin siya makikita. Kailangan lang natin i-browse yung settings or exp explore ang settings. This is my honest review about the TV box. Resolution wise, yes, Sobrang minaw ng TV box na to as you can see in the video. Number two, speed. Since this is an internet TV, internet or Wi-Fi connection is a must. Ang speed or bilis ng video na pinapanood natin ay nakabase or nakadepende sa Mbps ng ating internet connection. And according sa seller na pinagbilhan ko, at least 10 Mbps is needed. So, the higher the Mbps, the better. Number 3, mobile data. Yes, pwedeng gumamit ng mobile data through hotspot. But please be reminded na malaki makakonsumo ng mobile data ang panonood ng videos and movies. And number four, if uh, if we would be using an SD card, USB, or flash drive sa panunood, internet is no longer needed. Uh, international channels. There were instances na hindi ako makakonect sa international channels or even sa local channels. But according sa seller na pinagbilhan ko, there are two possible reasons kung bakit hindi ako makakonect. Number one, it's uh, either mabagal ang internet connection ko or may problema ang server. Since we are only using an application to watch an international channel. Meaning, application lang ang gamit natin at hindi 
frequency antenna para maka-connect to those international channels. Number six, is it worth buying? Yes, of course, it is worth buying. You would only need to purchase a TV box or the TV box and we can already watch uh, these international channels with no monthly bills. But then again, since this is an internet TV or internet TV box, ang bilis ng videos or movies na panonoorin natin ay nakabase or nakadepende lahat kung gaano kabilis ang ating internet connection. So that's all for now. Hope you like this video and thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.